So in this video, let us look at the relation between the roots and coefficients of a polynomial equation. Let us take an example. Let us say that you have a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And the, let the roots of this equation be alpha and beta. So ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation and let alpha and beta be the roots of this quadratic equation. Now the question is how do we relate alpha and beta with the coefficients a, b, c. Obviously this roots alpha and beta depend in some way on a, b, c and if you have roots a, b, roots alpha and beta they in some way determine the coefficients a, b, c. So what is the relation between these two quantities. So to understand this let us do some simplification. So ax square plus bx plus c can be written as. So alpha and beta are the roots of this equation. That means x minus alpha and x minus beta are the factors of this polynomial. And if you write this as x minus alpha into x minus beta. So for these two sides to be equal what you need to do is you need to equate at least one of the coefficient. So as you can see, you have x square here, you have ax square here. So for those two to be equal, so you just need to put an a here. So ax square plus bx plus c, it has two linear factors x minus alpha into x minus beta. Now if you divide this with x minus alpha and x minus beta, you get the coefficient as, you get the quotient as a. So this is equal to a into x minus alpha into x minus beta. That is equal to a times x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. That is equal to ax square minus a times alpha plus beta times x plus a alpha beta. Now these two polynomials are equal. So the x square coefficient a should be same as x square coefficient a and x coefficient b has to be same as the x coefficient here minus a times alpha plus beta. The constant term here c has to be equal to the constant term here a alpha beta. This implies alpha plus beta is equal to minus of b by a alpha plus beta is equal to minus of b by a and alpha beta is equal to c by a the sum of the roots is equal to minus of x coefficient by the leading coefficient and the product of roots is the next coefficient by the leading coefficient it is equal to minus of x coefficient by x square coefficient that is alpha plus beta and alpha beta is equal to constant term by x square coefficient. So these are the two relations that you have for a quadratic equation. Now let us do the same analysis for a cubic equation and see what the pattern is. So let us take the equation ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to 0. This is a cubic equation. Let the roots be alpha, beta and gamma. As we have done before. So if the roots are alpha, beta, gamma, ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d can be written as x minus alpha into x minus beta into x minus gamma times a. Because these three are the factors, you can write this as x minus alpha into x minus beta into x minus gamma. For the x cube coefficient on both sides to be same, you need to put an a here. Now, these two sides are equal. If I expand this, I get a times if you multiply these three, you get x cube 
minus of alpha plus beta plus gamma times x square plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha times x minus alpha beta gamma. So this is equal to this. So if this is equal to this, let us equal the coefficients. x cube coefficient a is obviously equal to a. Now x square coefficient b is equal to minus a times alpha plus beta plus gamma. c is equal to a times alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. d is equal to minus of a times alpha beta gamma. This implies the sum of all the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma. So sum of all the roots I'll write it as S1 is equal to minus of second coefficient by first coefficient minus of B by A. Next, what is this? The sum of products of two roots taken at a time. The sum of products of two roots taken at a time. So you have alpha, beta, gamma. In how many ways can you select two roots? I can select alpha, beta, beta, gamma and gamma, alpha. So this is nothing but product of two terms and sum of them. Sum of products of two roots taken at a time. So let us write it as S2 is equal to next coefficient by A. And alpha, beta, gamma, I can think of it as sum of products of three roots taken at a time. So if you want to take three roots, I can take it only in one way. So alpha, beta, gamma is equal to minus of d by a, minus of next coefficient by a. So S1 is minus of second coefficient by first coefficient. S2 is plus of third coefficient by first coefficient. S3 is minus of fourth coefficient by first coefficient. So in all these formulas, you divide with the leading coefficient. You have an, an alternate minus plus sign and the coefficients just go one after the other. So this type of simplification can also be thought for quadratic equation. So in a quadratic equation, you have only two roots alpha plus beta. So S1 is nothing but minus of second coefficient by first coefficient. And S2, sum of products of two roots taken at a time. If you have only two roots, you can take them. You can take the product only in one way, which is alpha into beta is equal to next coefficient by A. You have an alternate minus plus. If you have three roots, minus plus minus. Next, if you have four roots, you'll have minus plus minus plus so on. So let us write the final formula for a general polynomial equation. So if you take a general polynomial equation, a n x n plus a n minus 1 x n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x n minus 2, so on a 1 x plus a naught is equal to 0. So this is an nth degree polynomial equation. So obviously you have n roots, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, so on up to alpha n. Now, S1 for this polynomial equation, S1 is nothing but the sum of the roots is equal to minus of the second coefficient by the first coefficient. S2, the sum of products of two roots taken at a time. Sigma alpha i alpha j is equal to plus of next coefficient by first coefficient. Next S3, sum of products of three roots taken at a time is equal to again minus of next coefficient by first coefficient. This alternate minus plus signs continues. So on Sn, sum of products of n roots taken at a time. That is nothing but the product of all the roots 
is equal to minus 1 whole power n times last coefficient by first coefficient. So this is a general rule for all polynomial equations. So let us take some examples and practice this concept. Okay. 